I've been observing your life since more than 21 years. And uh, actually, courage is one thing that you know, come again and again from so many events in your life. But also, uh, you are very courageous not to follow the societal norms. So you you almost almost always, you know, like go to the other side of the societal norm. Um, so, so my question is, how do you reconcile between chaos and order? Because in order to in order to have um, harmony in society or to develop something, uh, a society or a state requires order. But at the same time, if individuals always follow orders and societal norm, they will not have this uh, courage to, to be authentic. How uh, can I, an I, order I, for this? I separate it. Uh, I remember Todd Allen from my 50 uh, year anniversary, uh, which was quite a long time ago. He made the book about me, a short book, and it was called The Last Individualist. Um, it was a very, and Todd was my, my, my great, great friend and partner in Los Angeles. And, and I, I said, Tori, it's, it's, it's true. But you can be an individualist and you can do your thing, but you have to respect, you, you, you have to respect law and order because that doesn't mean that because you respect law and order, which I respect more and more when I see the, the incredible chaos we have in Europe, uh, and in America, and so you can have a society that's under law and order where you respect people and their property, but you are free to think the way you can. And I don't. I am not a bourgeois. I am. I'm. I'm a free person, and I think that there is a lot of freedom. Freedom doesn't mean. You have to to um, to break the system, and this is what is happening now in Europe, where where look at France. It's been I don't know five months of people burning restaurants and so on and hitting everybody to achieve what nothing. They have achieved absolutely nothing. It's the violence. So I am not pro violence. So I I. I but I don't think that to respect, uh, if you respect your, your neighbor and his property, you have the whole world to do what you want. You don't have to, to be like society wants you to be. I was never that way. You, you, on the contrary, I was a rebel as a child. Um, so I, I think there is a lot of freedom what is endangering the freedom is this little machine that uh, uh, carries social media. That is the danger to freedom. Mm. It's, it's, not the, it's, not, it's not the government, it's not the system. It's the, 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 this drug, this absolute drug. When you see people walking in the street, they don't even look at the sky, at the trees, they're all in their social media. That is, for me, the biggest danger for the future. Okay. Because if we can't see the nature, and then we can't see the children, and then we can't see uh, what's, what's going on, you know, what's, what's, what's the point? Uh, that's, that's the biggest danger. But a law and order is essential, because if not, we have 7 billion uh, people and we're already at, uh, look at the amount of countries that are at war today and they, they, and they want more. The people want more. You go to Brussels, you sit with all these idiots of 50 countries, they all want more war. That's the real danger. It's not the, it's, it's, it's not the currency which is now being liberalized because at least uh, we can 
use many more different currencies. It's this madness, madness that comes from where? Comes from your little telephone, social media. This is, this is a drug. This is how you infiltrate the mind. 